I'm Jeremiah Sunny. I'm the lead worker for the city's stormwater department, and today I'm going to show you some of our assets and why they're important to us. We collect the stormwater from the streets and channel it to either our streams or back into the ground for our drinking water. Residents play an important role by affecting what goes into our streams and also what we end up drinking again later on. We'll visit the city and plenty of uh, sites to show you some examples and some of the numbers detailing our city's infrastructure. Here at one of our rain gardens that we have throughout the city, we have right now over 13,000 square feet of drainage area into our rain gardens and we could potentially uh, double that number within the next year or two with the oncoming of light rail. These are the newest uh, means of treatment and uh, water quality systems. Each plant is designed to filter out uh, toxins and pollutants through the stormwater runoff and this is a pre-treatment before it goes into the ground and eventually works its way to our drinking water. Maintenance is pretty detailed on these and we try to keep the aesthetic value up while keeping our filtering system values as well. Here's one of over 16,000 catch basins we have in the city. This is a preliminary treatment for storm water. Water is carried down through the streets, picks up debris, drops into these. There's a sump on the bottom where debris can settle out before the cleaner water is allowed to build up and carry out through a pipe. Uh, from there, it'll go into either a dry well or into a stream. The city's crew members will come out with our back trucks and clean out the debris by sucking out the water first and then the settled debris on the bottom and allowing more water and debris to come in. This keeps debris from filling up with the water and carrying out through the system. This is one of almost 200 dry wells we have in our city limits. This is the last step of filtering before water from the street gets to the aquifer where we eventually get our drinking water from. Water is piped into here through the basins and sediment holes, enters here, settles out, debris settles, and our water will filter through the sides of the dry well and also through the bottom. From there it works its way through sand and natural materials that before it gets to our aquifer. Um, our crews will come out with our vac truck. We uh, put uh, pipes on our truck, get down to various levels. These are normally from about 18 to 30 some feet deep. And we will take out the debris that settles on top and clean the sides of the drywall with a high pressure hose. From there, keeps things flowing and these things working well. We're here at the Roswell Detention Pond. This is one of five detention ponds we have in the city. This is a water quality asset. Water carries debris through the pipes and ends up in places like this. This gives the sediment a chance to settle out where we can access it with our back trucks and other pieces of equipment to remove the debris. As you see here, we get cleaner water to leave the area and carry on in its way to the streams. Uh, these areas are important to other wildlife uh, for animals such as ducks, beavers, coyotes, uh, many songbirds, and rodents and other types of animals that enjoy these areas. We have 40 miles of pipe within our city. Our pipes carry debris and water from our surface streets towards our outfalls or dry wells. The city crews clean the pipes with our vac truck. Then we can run our robot camera through the pipes and search for defects. When we find these defects, we can come back and repair them as needed. A clean and maintained pipe allows the stormwater to continue its journey towards our dry wells or streams. That's a little bit about our storm's assets by the numbers. Thanks again for taking the time to learn about our important infrastructure.